for the Blue Dragon Express. Okay, make sure, make sure you are safe, sit down, and uh, we, we are not responsible for your safety here. <laughs> I am not. Okay, but um, we are starting right now. After we pass um, the tunnel, and then we can we can start uh, past conference. And I would appreciate if the media sit in front and the members sit at the back and let the media to, um, uh, to do interviews with the uh, officer and and. Um, Organizers. It's going southbound to Queen's Key and then we'll come back. Right? We'll go to Union Station. And then we go to Union Station and then we come back. There is no stop there, it's express, so you cannot get on and off this uh, express. Enjoy the ride. Enjoy the ride. <laughs> you all to the Blue Dragon Express. And I think this is the first time we have a press conference on a moving vehicle. It's a mobile express conference. The reason we have this press conference is that we want to uh, announce the launching of the Blue Dragon campaign uh, with the joint effort of 52 division and 14th uh, division to participate as well. Uh, but um, we want to thank especially the TTC for their support and sponsor of this uh, street car, especially for our press conference and their support I really appreciate it. I would li really like to thank especially uh, Minister David uh, Nicholson that he has been very helpful in organizing the streetcar uh, for us uh, for today. The reason, as I said, that um, the press conference for today is to announce the kickoff of the Blue Dragon campaign. The purpose of this campaign is to promote awareness of uh, traffic safety and pedestrian safety. Uh, I'm the chair, Winnie Wong, represent, uh, is the chair of the Chinatown Community Police Liaison Committee, and we work closely with the 52 and 14th Division in promoting safety in Chinatown. As you are all aware that Chinatown is a really busy area uh, with a lot of tourists, shoppers, and um, community members. And there's always a problem with the traffic we are concerning about is we have a lot of cars there coming to Chinatown, uh, especially in the summer season uh, when the tourists coming and also we have a lot of shoppers coming during the weekends and uh, the weekdays. Uh, we see a lot of people that, you know, especially we see the drivers that some of them are really aggressive drivers. They are not obeying the sign and they just, uh, sometimes they just uh, um, disregard the pedestrian safety and they just cross, they just drive whatever they want and we are really concerned about that. And also the pedestrians, sometimes they're so eager to get on uh, the streetcar or the bus and they cross the street with no really you know, pay too much attention on the coming oncoming traffic. So these are the complaints sometimes from the, um, the, uh, the business people, the community people, and also sometimes from the driver as well. And uh, we know that some, especially with the TDC, that people quite get on the TDC and they're too eager to cross the street without really looking. And we have some uh, uh, incident about that, that uh, some uh, passengers or pedestrians get hurt by cars or by um, of, uh, of cyclists as well as well. So today we want to uh, thank um, the Christian Two Division in helping us to organize this Blue Dragon uh, campaign. People ask me why it's called Blue Dragon. Blue Dragon means blue is representing say, the color of the police and dragon is representing the Chinese. So it's like a good combination. Blue Dragon means that it's a cooperation between police and the Chinese community. And uh, I would like to uh, give a special thanks to uh, uh, PC Dale Cora and Mike Moffat. They have been spearhead this uh, campaign, and especially with Dale, and he has been really, really uh, working on this campaign. And I will let um, uh, the police to explain about more details about this campaign and how long it will last, uh, all the details and information. First of all, I would like to invite um, Superintendent, 52 Division Superintendent, Unit Commander, Hugh Ferguson, <laughs> to give you more details about the uh, campaign. Let's welcome Superintendent Ferguson. Well, we're here today on a TTC streetcar to kick off Project Blue Dragon. This is a 12-day uh, traffic safety campaign commencing April 2nd in the Chinatown area of Toronto. We're just coming into Chinatown now, and uh, one of the unique challenges in the Chinatown community with traffic safety is the intersection of the streetcar line with Spadina and Dundas. The Spadina line, which we're on now, runs in its own dedicated corridor and uh, generally runs quite well. The challenge that we face at the warmer weather comes here is Chinatown is also uh, one of Toronto's major tourist destinations with people from literally all over the world coming to visit. 
many of the people that come here aren't used to driving the, the streetcars on the road. We also have the uh, streetscape distractions, the, the signs, the wares on the street, and people's attention is focused to places other than on the roadway in front of them. The same holds true for many of the pedestrians that are walking around. A lot of them aren't really paying the attention that they should. And uh, over several years, we have had several collisions, and we've had many, many very close calls where only by the grace of God somebody wasn't hurt or perhaps killed. This initiative has three prongs to the approach. There's education, which has been ongoing for the past 18 months, almost two years, with the seniors and the youth in the community. Awareness, that's what we're doing now with the media, making the public aware of the issues that we face. And enforcement, which will be commencing on April the 2nd. And the idea is to enforce the traffic and bylaw offenses that will make this community safer. Uh, as the summer approaches, this area is, is, is in gridlock with traffic most days. Pedestrian uh, traffic is the highest we'll, we'll see it starting around the Easter weekend and moving through uh, Thanksgiving. And the idea of the, uh, the safety campaign is to more or less nip the bad habits in the butt before they end. And we're just about at Dundas now. And you'll see that the uh, even, even today, sometime around 2 o'clock in the afternoon, the, the pedestrian and vehicular traffic at the intersection is uh, quite heavy. And we want to make sure that everybody gets through town safely. Traffic safety is one of the service priorities. It's certainly something we pay attention to year-round. But in the, in the case of Chinatown, it's something that we're going to heighten our activity for the next couple of weeks to make sure that we uh, drive the message. What are the types of infractions that people might face? And the fines? Yeah. The fines can be anywhere from the out of court settlement, which is in the area of $135, $140, right up to about a couple of thousand dollars, depending on what happens if the case is taken to court. Many of the offenses have to do with improper turning. Uh, parking is a huge issue. There's not a lot of parking in Chinatown on street parking. And of course, when people park on the, on the roadway and take up a lane, it forces the vehicles onto the streetcar right away. And we obviously have problems with that. Uh, the bigger challenge with the turns is if the turns are made improperly and a collision occurs with the streetcar, the streetcar weighs 20 tons. A motor vehicle weighs a fraction of that. And Damage is usually significant to the cars. Um, the other difficulty is that for people that aren't from Toronto, that aren't used to driving with the streetcar right away, there's two sets of signals. There's a set of signals for the streetcars, there's a set of signals for motor vehicles. And there has been a lot of confusion with the, the, the uh, motoring public. When the light turns green for the streetcar, the public assumes that it's green for the car. In fact, it's not. And we've had vehicles turn right in front of the streetcars, and thankfully the drivers have been able to stop the streetcar. The initiative was actually started by several of the officers that worked this area. They noticed that there was a definite need for a heightened awareness and enforcement campaign in this area, that there, there, there were people getting injured, that there were accidents occurring that, that, that we felt were obviously preventable, and they're preventable through, as I said, the three-pronged approach, education, awareness, and, and, and when necessary, enforcement. And are you just focusing on driving? Like, what about the other um, activities that police and bylaw enforcement? Oh, no, cer certainly all the other activities. I'm covering the sidewalk, which, which forces pedestrians out onto the roadway, which creates traffic hazards. Uh, for those of you that will recall, it wasn't perhaps 10 days ago where the unfortunate incident occurred where the young man was skateboarding and got hit by the car over in uh, Kensington Market. Those types of activities are occurring uh, and, you know, through education and awareness in that particular case. Perhaps the roadway is not the wisest place to be skateboarding or playing when, when there's a heavy traffic flow. At the same time, the motorists have to be aware that there are going to be pedestrians and children on the road. And we want to make sure that everybody can operate safely using the, uh, the limited road access that we have in the downtown corner. You know, when people are driving through here, they'll, they'll see this, the streetscape, they'll see you know, the streetcars, and, and then all of a sudden they'll see a police officer and they're focused back on what they're supposed to be doing. And sometimes just by us being here, it helps. Gary, I just want to thank uh, Superintendent Ferguson and all our safety partners in Toronto Police for putting on this event and for supporting us 365 days a year on this uh, right of way and on the rest of the city where we're running our service. The thing is, uh, I'd, I'd like to add to what he said was that uh, on a dedicated right of way like this, this is the future of TTC streetcars. We're looking to have dedicated right of ways on Spadina already this year and, and continuing throughout uh, next year. And uh, as the uh, as mayor announced last week, we're looking to expand that system throughout the city over the next number of decades. There's a few safety considerations for pedestrians when they're on a right of way like this. One is when you're getting off onto the platform, uh, exit onto the crosswalks. Don't just walk across the right of way. 
And also when you're doing that, you have to be mindful of the fact that it's not just the train that you see in front of you, but there may be a train on the other track that's coming, and so it's important to obey your signals and to be mindful of the two-way traffic of trains. Uh, also from our train operator's point of view, the streetcar operator's point of view, uh, pedestrians and motorists alike have to be mindful of the fact that it takes a lot longer to stop a streetcar than it does a bus or a motor vehicle of any other type, especially in adverse conditions where the rail is wet or there's ice on the rail, and it takes much longer to stop. So don't take a chance in front of a streetcar that you might think you can take in front of an automobile. He may not be able to stop. They weigh uh, 20 tons. It takes uh, far longer to stop. So it's important to be cautious. It's a very safe way to travel. It's a very smooth way to travel, but uh, in in the right of way, you have to be mindful of the fact that it is a train and, and take the same kind of precautions as you would with a passenger train on a, on a rail. Has uh, a new piece of equipment on it, namely that uh, deck out on the back window, which is meant to warn drivers. Uh, to stop for pedestrians when they're getting on and off the streetcar. That's the difference between a right-of-way like this, you can see you can get on here, you're right in a, in a safety zone. Uh, when you're on Dundas or College or Queen Street, the intersecting streetcar lines like this one here, the pedestrian or the passenger is getting right off into the roadway. And so it's very critical for the passenger to watch out and make sure that the car traffic has stopped before they disembark from the streetcar. And equally, it's important and it's the law for the cars and trucks to stop behind the streetcar when the doors are open so that there is no danger to the pedestrian. So we've got a, uh, another great big uh, poster that we've uh, made into a deck out on the back window of our streetcars. And this one is one of the uh, early ones outfitted with that. And we have uh, also put on uh, stop signs on the doors and other modifications to the streetcars just to try to remind both the people who live in Toronto and drive the streets every day and in a hurry to get where they want to go, but also importantly people who are visiting to the city to, uh, to visit the Blue Jays or the soccer team or hopefully the Toronto Maple Leafs when they get to the Stanley Cup later this week. <音樂>我們說南龍行動這次要為了太高我們環球的安全和環球的安全因為大家都知道環球的運動車多 教導啲人,譬如說交通安全和維法的車輛 我們傳統中國人的象徵 特別是加強這個行動,要求大家的議員各方面都要巡邏 
，因為大家都知道咧，新移民咧，尤其是新移民嚟到呢度咧，交通例又唔同啦，我哋好多法例又唔同啦，習慣又唔同啦，咁佢哋會可能忽視咗呢樣嘢。咁我哋希望趁呢個時間咧，提醒大家咧，就係話誒呢邊嘅交通例呢邊，你要點樣遵守，係會會保障你哋嘅安全。即係個大前提係每一個人安全。嗱，一般嚟講咧，喺唐人街咧，佢好多時就係話我哋胡錢唐人街好多地方你會見到咧，佢哋落嗰街車或者係巴士咧，突然間飆過馬路啦。啊冇，咁你係睇唔到嘅。我哋揸車最唔想見到呢種情況。咁另外呢，就話有啲踩單車㗎啦、啊，或者係有啲行街嘅呢，佢因為賣呀、啊、買嘢呀、啊，會唔會行得出馬路，突然間行出嚟馬路，咁變咗令到我哋揸車嘅人呢就好危險。啊，咁變咗有壓力。咁就係希望呢，大家趁呢個機會呢，大家都明白每一個人都有責任。我成日都話呢，無論你係揸車嘅朋友、踩單車嘅朋友、行路嘅朋友，大家對交通安全都有責任。啊，唔唔係話啊，我行路好多人誤解咗咧，行路係可以都乜都得。咁變咗對我哋揸車同埋踩單車朋友唔係幾公平，係嘛？咁所以希望大家要留意，法例咧就係完全都有管制嘅。我哋會透過誒唔、呃、同個渠道去宣傳啦，等大家更加了解啦。咁啊，稍後咧，我哋就會喺實地響唐街咧，就譬如喺十字路口啊，話俾佢聽，你要要睇燈路過馬路啊。咁再遲啲少過少少時間咧，我哋就會有所謂檢舉嘅行為，等啲人知道，嗯、哇，真係罰錢。根據道路交通條例咧，一般如果你行人唔依照燈路過，过马路系罚五廿蚊嘅，如果系市政府附例咧就八个抽，咁啊就问视乎、呃、我哋要引用咩条例啊？咁但系大前提都系大家安全最紧要，钱系其次。呢、啊這个活动你觉得成效会点样？其实诶会系好嘅，因为我哋都唔系第一年做，最紧要咧就系话我哋成日要提醒。啲朋友同埋新朋友、新嚟嘅朋友，交通安全同埋呢度嗰個交通禮、啊、因為同我哋好多園區地都係唔同啊。I'm John O'Grady. I'm the Chief Safety Officer for TTC. So, what's your major responsibility? Uh, major responsibility is to look after three areas. Uh, we look after public safety, passenger safety, and we look after uh, worker safety. And also, I'm accountable for environmental protection and environmental management of the system. So, we have the least impact on the environment as well. You mean public safety mostly related to the passengers, the train is that right? Yeah, and public safety, of course, our main concern is with our passengers. We've got a duty to make sure our passengers are safe, that we can carry them from point A to point B without thinking about safety. And that's our real objective, that people don't think about safety at all because it's just there for them. Uh, as well, though, because we're on the street, we have to be concerned with other road users, whether they're pedestrians that are uh, crossing uh, in front of our streetcars and buses or uh, our other motorists. Motorists who are turning or cutting us off or sharing the road with us in any case. So, so we've got uh, programs for each of those for, for our passengers, for pedestrians, and for other vehicles on the road. I think according to the city app, like uh, TDC has a priority on the road. So still has to causing some accidents or what kind of I mean, uh, measures have caused you have to do? We have, uh, we have, there are systems in place to give us priority at traffic signals. So if we're uh, coming up to a traffic light, uh, the signal will turn green and give priority to the 40 or 50 or 80 people who are on our streetcar or bus uh, over the uh, traffic going the opposite direction. But still, we need to have a professional uh, driving group that can make sure that they uh, obey all the rules of the road and are well trained in defensive driving techniques so that they ensure that they Keep, keep the other road users safe as well. So, uh, for, for CDB, is there any major plan or any like initiative for the next few years? Uh, well, we've got a number of programs that we work with Toronto Police on. Uh, this is one where we go to a specific neighborhood that has particular issues, such as Chinatown. We also have uh, initiatives with Toronto Police called, uh, on Streetcar Watch, which uh, is aimed at ensuring that our streetcar riders pay attention when they're getting off the streetcar, that the cars that are in the right-hand lane have stopped, and also that the car operators ensure that they stop when a streetcar pulls up to a uh, to service a stop and set passengers off. So we have those two programs. As well, we have a uh, big uh, program where we put into to Toronto schools. So we'll take a bus out to a, a public school with the uh, 
whole program aimed at teaching children how to use transit safely. So TTC is Canada's largest transit agency. It's uh, the fifth largest in North America. Every year we carry over 440 million passengers uh, on uh, very widely ranging, a very wide range of vehicles. We have subways, streetcars, buses, we have a light rail system and we have a wheel trans system that carries 2,000, 2 million passengers a year. So it's a very complex system compared to most in North America, those different kinds of vehicles. And we're about the only system in North America or almost anywhere in the world that runs streetcars and mixed traffic the way we do here. So the challenges we have are, are very large and we're very proud of the service record we have in moving those 400 plus million people every year. How long have you been working in DDC? I've been with DDC eight years.